just look like a cow then. Sorry. Bonjour guys, it's Charlie and today we're going to talk about the things that no one tells you about uni. By this I mean the things that I had to find out for myself once I started and maybe things that I would have liked to know beforehand. So I figured I'd just tell you guys now. You won't need as much stuff as you think you will. Now I think I'm going to make a separate video about what to bring to uni but overall I just took too many clothes and also too many just little bits and bobs that just piled up and I ended up just having to store them under the bed and they didn't come out once during the year so clearly I didn't need them and next year when I move into my new house I really shouldn't bring them but I'm a bit of a hoarder so am I. Your sleeping pattern will change and by that I mean there'll be no pattern. At sixth form I used to wake up at six and go to bed around ten whereas at uni now I either wake up at eight if I have a lecture at nine sometimes seven go to bed between eleven and three it basically it all changes around and just be prepared for that your diet will be very different you'll have to buy your own food and cook your own food which I had never done before uni now if you have that's great good for you but as much as I feel like I could learn to cook new things, at the end of the day it said I can't be bothered so I just stick to pasta. I mean I don't just eat pasta but it's pretty close. You will have free time. I came from a sixth form where I had 31.5 hours a week to a uni where I had a maximum of 14 hours a week. I feel like either way you can still make free time and you know keep going with your hobbies and things like that so you don't have to give those up. You won't necessarily find your friendship group straight away, it might take a couple months, it might only be at the end of your first year that you find the people that you enjoy hanging out with, but I'm pretty darn sure that you will find them. I did and I'm really really happy with the group of people that I hang out with. Normally, and I do say normally, you can change courses if you're not happy with the course that you're on. My flatmate did this, she wasn't happy with um, the course that she was on at the beginning of the year. If you're not happy with the course that you're on, generally you have the option to change in within a certain amount of time, so within the first two or six weeks of the course, that kind of thing. Now a lot of you may already know this, but it won't be all work and no play, and there will be so many events to go out to. But on the other hand, it can't be all play and no work. If you want to pass the first year, you do actually have to do a minimum, you have to turn in your essays, things like that. Contrary to popular belief, a fairly healthy diet isn't actually that expensive. For my time at university, I actually managed to spend less than £2.5 a day on food, which is quite a good amount. And that includes snacks, because I snack a lot, which obviously isn't healthy. But just pretend I didn't say that. Meat, however, is quite expensive. Now, I know that for a healthy diet, you're supposed to have your protein and all that, but I don't really eat meat. But just be aware that meat is one of the most expensive products, food products that you can buy. Now, this one may have been said to you before, but I thought it was worth including because I found it really useful, and that is a 16 to 25 rail card, which you can purchase for, I think, around £30 for the year online or with certain bank accounts, student bank accounts, you actually get a real card with the account, which is what my friend does. And last but not least, as a uni student, there are jobs available to you um, through the uni on websites of organisations such as UniTemps, which is what I use. Um, there might be others that exist, I just don't know of them, but have a quick search. Generally, your university will actually advertise them. I actually get sent weekly updates from uni temps and I get to look at what jobs there are and if I'm not interested I just swipe and delete it. If I am interested I go to onto the website, log in and send my cover letter and it's as simple as that, along with my CV of course. So guys that's what I have for you today, I hope this video informed you of some things that I wasn't aware of before I started uni. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, you can comment down below if there are things that you did already know or if there are other things that you feel other people should be made aware of about uni. You can click anywhere on my face to go over to my channel and hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys next week for another video. Bye bye!